In today's Focus on Your Health, Teresa Snow looks at the long-term impact that sleep can have on their health. Focus on Your Health is sponsored by MU Healthcare. Joining me is Dr. David Gazal, a sleep specialist here at MU Healthcare and the chair of the Department of Child Health at the University of Missouri School of Medicine. You've done extensive research into the effects of a lack of sleep on children. What are some of the things you've found? So the major effects are two ways. One is the effect on the brain and the development of the brain in children, which obviously is very important. We want our children to be not only the most intelligent that they could be, but also the most accomplished in their schools and their future. And the brain suffers when we don't sleep enough, or when we have disorders of sleep or any other thing that will affect our sleep. The second is on the overall effects on our health and the health. So we see that uh, children who do not sleep enough are at risk of developing cardiovascular consequences, behavioral consequences, and also metabolic consequences such as obesity and diabetes. And those can be very long, long term so that the debt that we accumulate as children may have lifelong effects on, on our health. You mentioned sleep debt. Can you catch up on sleep if you don't get enough? It's tricky. Um, it is tricky because it's uh, a matter of mathematics. If you don't sleep enough, for example, two hours every night less than what you should, at the end of the school week, you will have accumulated uh, five days, 10 hours of debt. And then when you catch up, even if you sleep two more hours per, per weekend day, you will only have recovered four yes. hours. Now you owe yourself six hours every week. At the end, you go into your credit report for sleep will be completely destroyed <laughs> and essentially you go bankrupt on your health. So what are the warning signs a parent might want to look for that says, I better look at sleep as a contributor to this? So the things that we are concerned about is if the child is very sleepy, uh, difficult to arouse in the morning, all children normally should wake up on their own. They shouldn't be dragged out of bed screaming, kicking and screaming. If there are changes in mood, if there is a, a, a deterioration in school performance, if they start learning well but then they start going down, if they start gaining too much weight, if they don't feel well, if they have bad wetting. So all these, if they don't grow enough also, we can see uh, conditions that can affect them. Or if they fall asleep at school or they fall asleep uh, everywhere. Those are areas that should w worry you as a parent that something is not okay with your child's sleep and maybe it's time to look uh, into this. Yeah, sleep weaves into every part of our, our good life, that's for sure. Well, uh, if sleep was not an essential life-sustaining function, it would be really an evolutionary mistake. So the fact that we sleep, it's because an essential component of our health, of our lives, and we need to respect sleep the same way that we respect many other things. Good. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dr. David Gozol. And with Focus on Your Health, I'm Teresa Snow. Focus on Your Health has been sponsored by MU Healthcare.